Hi, Timothy here. So I'm sure most people know about Ichiran Ramen. It is probably the most well-known ramen among foreign travelers. But do you know that there are different kind of Ichiran Ramen? So when I'm looking through their website to find information about their original store in Fukuoka, I saw some store are labeled as premium. They have this non pork ramen which is self-explanatory, but there is no information about why or what makes the other stores premium. So I thought it would be interesting to make a comparison between the original store, the premium store, and the non pork store. So let's see how they compare. So right now I'm on my way to the first Ichiran store and I just passed by their headquarters which is huge. They have the restaurant at the bottom and offices on the higher floors. But that's not what we are looking for. We are looking for the very first Ichiran store. Which in contrast looks pretty small. But it is still equipped with the same vending machine and pretty much the same menu. And the inside is also identical to other Ichiran stores with an individual booth including the order sheet which I think is one of the main reasons why Ichiran is so popular among foreign travelers For dashi, I like it strong Richness, extra rich Garlic, let's go with medium Green onion, yes please Char siu, of course I don't know why without is an option here Spiciness, let's go with 5 And the noodle, I like it firm And here we have Ichiran Ramen from the first Ichiran store And it looks identical to a regular Ichiran Ramen But before we mix everything in Let's try the broth as it is. It is quite creamy but it lacks some kind of heat. So I guess that's where the spices come in. So let's mix all of these spices. Yep, the broth is still the best thing about Ichiran. It is nice creamy and spicy and perhaps the noodle as well because you can choose however you like it and for me the thin but firm noodle goes really well with the fatty broth but it is a different story for the pork it is very thin and it tastes pretty underwhelming so overall it is identical to the other Ichiran I don't know why I was expecting it to be different Maybe because it is the first shop, so I was hoping that it will be a bit special. But as it turns out, it is not. Our next stop is the non-pork Ichiran Ramen. And it says 100% without tonkotsu. So let's go inside and check it out. The inside has pretty much the same interior and the same vending machine. They even have the same order sheet for customization. With one difference, the topping. They use beef instead of pork and everything else is the same. So right away, we can see that instead of a bowl, we get a box of ramen. So let's see what's underneath. It looks pretty much the same as the regular Ichiran ramen. It has the same creamy looking soup and the same thin noodle. But as for the topping, instead of char siu pork, we get a few slices of beef. Now let's give it a good mix and try it out. Let's start with the soup. Oh wow, it is pretty good. 
It's pretty similar to the regular Ichiran Ramen. It is slightly less creamy and less fatty, but I don't think I will be able to tell the difference if I do not know that this is a non-pork Ichiran Ramen. And how about the beef? Nah, I think it's just okay. Tastes like a regular beef. Nothing special about it. Well, topping is never the selling point of Ichiran anyway. But I'm surprised that overall it tastes pretty much the same. I think they did a really good job maintaining the same flavor between the pork and the non-pork ramen. Finally, we are at the last store which is labeled as a premium shop on their website. From the outside, there is no sign or indication about it being a premium shop. So let's see if there is anything inside. The menus are identical, but it seems that the ramen comes with an octagon bowl. So let's see if it is any different. There is nothing special with the order sheet either. So let's get the same thing as the other two. So here we have Ichiran Ramen from the premium shop. And it does come with an octagon shaped bowl. But apart from the bowl, everything looks exactly the same. So let's mix it and dig in right away. Hmm. Hmm. It tastes pretty much the same, be it the broth, the noodle, or the topping. So I don't really know what makes this shop premium. But to be fair, it is only written on their website. They do not specify the reason why they call it premium. And there's no mention about it in the store either. Well, at least the bowl is different. So those are the three Ichiran ramen from three different stores. And apart from the fact that the non-pork ramen does not contain pork, they have two main differences. The first one is the bowl. They are all in a different shape. And the second one is the price. With the non-pork ramen is the most expensive out of the three. And the first store is slightly cheaper compared to the premium store. So that got me thinking, is the premium store is more expensive? So I went to a regular Ichiran ramen in Tokyo and they have the same price with the premium store. So my assumption is because the first store is in Fukuoka, it is slightly cheaper compared to the other stores in Tokyo. Or perhaps by the time I went to the store in Tokyo, they already increased the price. I don't know, again, this is just my assumption. But the main takeaway is, they are all taste the same. Even the non-pork ramen tastes pretty similar to the other ones. So I guess you can just go to any Ichiran ramen and you don't have to worry about missing out. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.